Stop me if this is incorrect. Farouk Al-Bajir and the PLR seize power in Iran almost the same day as the earthquake. They become a threat. A few weeks later, we send in 50,000 Marines to take them out. We go to war in Iran. Is this a history lesson? What part did you play in going after al-Bashir? That's a broad question. Well, then I will narrow it down. Your first mission. Initially, our role was to do BDA after airstrikes in the northern quarter of Tehran. Battle damage assessment. Why were you doing that? It was procedure. We were looking for a high-value target fast air was supposed to hit. So far as I can tell, you don't have a great history of following procedure. Tell me about your interaction with Lieutenant Colby Hawkins. She was an F-18 pilot? She? Don't know her. As you went in, she took part in an airstrike on al-Bashir. Hawkins, we just got raised to alert one. Plans have changed. We're launching now. CAG says we're special today. We're not on station for some whiskey delta ground support. DASC is going to fill us in airborne, but we are flying a strike mission over Tehran into Marabad Airport. Elon has sat images. They think they know where Al Bashir is. So, get your fangs out, Hawkins. We're hunting big game today. That's pretty much it. There's Iranian bogeys in the air already. Pucker factor, 9.7. Baruch Al-Bashir is about to have a really bad day. Okay, let's rock and roll. Leveling 
off on your starboard.
over to AGM-88. All right, Hawkins, switch us over to ground attack. Large in the sands. Make sure we get good track on their radar before you fire. Take out those positions. Roger, two 
seconds. They're boarding the helicopter. We have individuals running. You are cleared to take them out too. Roger. Roger, three seconds. Down, looking good, you got the ball. Dark 4-6, on drive path, on course. Put him on, call the ball. 